This video, Mapping Health Risks and Developing Strategic Responses with Policy Map, comes from an assignment by Professor Anne Hewitt at Seton Hall University's Graduate Certificate in Healthcare Administration. The goal of the assignment is to learn to identify populations at risk, choose data indicators to inform that risk, visualize the risk, and develop a plan based on that information. In an effort to provide better quality health care to more people, public health officials have become more interested in the idea of population health. Rather than focusing solely on treating individuals, a larger impact can be made by looking at social determinants of health and how conditions in a community can be improved to improve the health of the people that live in it. To get started, let's look at a specific issue in place, heart health in Michigan. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States, attributable to nearly one in four deaths. But heart disease is manageable through lifestyle and dietary modifications, making it a prime candidate for improvement using population health strategies. The state of Michigan has one of the highest rates of coronary heart disease in the country, so let's start there. According to data from the CDC, over 14,000 adults in Michigan died from coronary heart disease in 2017, a rate of 275.8 people per 100,000. This is the fifth highest rate of heart disease in the country. This map shows that the highest rates of heart disease occur primarily in Detroit and the less populated northern areas of the state. Changing our indicator from the rate to the absolute number of deaths, we can see that the southern part of the state has the highest number of deaths, which would be expected since it's a more populated area. So we'll focus on Detroit, which is in Wayne County. Wayne County has a heart disease rate of 336.7 per 100,000 people, significantly higher than Michigan's already high rate. According to the CDC, there are five main risk factors for heart disease as well as stroke, hypertension, dyslipidemia, tobacco use, poor nutrition, and physical inactivity. Additional factors include diabetes, depression, and stress. Focusing on poor nutrition, let's think about a few barriers that might exist to prevent a healthy diet. First, individuals might lack money to purchase fresh fruits and vegetables. If average incomes in an area are low, there may not be enough aggregate income to attract a supermarket or other fresh food seller to the area, leading to an access issue as well. Looking at poverty rates in Wayne County, we can see that poverty is concentrated in the city of Detroit and is widespread through the city. This data comes through the Census's American Community Survey and allows us to look at as close as the census tract level. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has identified tracts where low income and low access prevent residents from shopping at supermarkets with fresh food. This gives us a guide of which neighborhoods to focus on. Reinvestment Fund did a similar study and found neighborhoods of particular concern. We can also look to see how much money households are estimated to be spending on food at home. In this data, which is exclusive to PolicyMap, we can see that the average amount of spending on groceries in most of Detroit is extremely low, which may explain the lack of supermarkets doing business there. We can also see that a very high percent of household income is being spent on food at 9% of all income, whereas the U.S. average is closer to 7%. Because household incomes are so low, this doesn't mean they're buying expensive food. It means residents don't necessarily have the resources to pay more for healthy food.